Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to use the Oh So Soft Skin Brush in the Pure Color Workflow Collection from Pretty Actions. This is also applicable if you have the Smooth as a Baby's Bottom brush from the New Learn Collection. So let's take a quick look here. I'm going to work with this image. Notice I've already run the Oh So Soft Skin Action and I've painted it onto um, the image here. So this is a, a before um, and this is an after. So you can see a really nice uh, gentle smoothing of the skin. Okay, so I'm just going to take that layer and drag it to the trash can so we can start fresh. I'm going to scroll down here uh, to where you see your mini retouch set. Uh, again, this is working with the uh, Pure Color Workflow Collection. I've got Also Soft Skin selected. And I'm going to press play. Okay, so... Following the prompts, it says paint with a soft white brush to reveal smooth, creamy skin. I'm going to press continue. Um, and now your brush, you'll want to make sure your brush is selected. Okay, if you don't see it, just right click and select your brush tool. Um, white should by default be your background color. That's the way the action works, or your foreground color rather. It'll bring that to the top there. Make sure your brush opacity is at 100% up top. I usually keep my flow around 85%. Um, and uh, your layer mask should also be selected by default. That's the little black triangle right here next to your action folder. Okay, so I'm all ready. I'm actually going to paint onto the skin in the image. Normally, I would do my skin adjustments, um, kind of, you know, how the workflow is set up. You go in and fix your exposure, the contrast, uh, shadows and highlights, make sure you have a nice clean looking image. Um, and then once, um, once that's fixed, I'll go in and make adjustments on um, the client's skin. Uh, and use anything within the mini retouch set. And then I'll move on and add overall enhancements. So that's kind of my workflow uh, when, when editing. Okay, so this image has actually already been completely edited. Out of convenience, I just open this up here and we're going to use Oh So Soft Skin Action. I actually did not use it on this image, so it's a perfect example. Um, just to show you what this action does. I love it. Um, so again, we're ready to paint. You can see I've got the brush selected. You can make it larger and smaller with the left and right bracket keys. Okay. Uh, and I'm just going to start painting on her skin here. And notice the, the nice, soft, subtle uh, smoothing that we're getting. Now, very important, uh, when painting onto your client's skin, you don't want to paint over specific details. Obviously, um, you know, somewhat wrinkles, maybe around the eyes, on the forehead, you wanna paint over that and the majority of the skin, but I'm not painting over her eyebrows. I'm painting around them. Um, normally, I would just zoom in and be a lot more careful than I'm being at the moment. Just for time purposes, I'm trying to zoom through this here for you guys. Now, I'm also not painting over her lash line. Notice I did paint over the lid, but I'm steering clear of her actual lash line and her eyelashes. Okay, so just moving downward on the face. I won't paint the ears. If you want to, you can maybe go over the ear lobe. Okay, so, I mean, it's quite normal to make your brush larger and smaller um, quite a bit when just going through different areas of the face. So I'm doing that right now. Okay, also the nose area. You want to steer clear of the actual ridge of the nose right here, but uh, directly to the right of it, I'll paint. Okay, you also don't want to paint around the nose line here. See right here where I'm, I'm dragging. I'm not actually painting. I'm just highlighting it with my brush at the moment. I'll paint um, right here at the tip of the nose down the nostril, but I'm not painting over the actual um, line. That makes sense. 
Um, I'll paint a little bit on the top of the lip. I'm not going to paint right above her lips here. So really important, you just, you don't want to blur or cover up the details of the face. Okay, um, it does get hard um, at some point just to see exactly where you painted within the image. So a lot of times I will uh, press the backslash key Notice I missed quite a bit on her cheek here, so it, it just makes it easier to see where you're painting. So I can just paint over that. Okay, so notice I left alone this area, the, the nose line here and around her nostril and the top of the lip. I left the lashes alone. Eyebrows I left alone. Okay. Um. Okay, so at this point, her face is looking pretty good. So uh, I also usually like to bring the brush opacity down to about 50% for the rest of the body. Uh, I just find that it looks more natural when the skin, the skin on the face has a little bit more smoothing than the rest of the body. Um, so personal preference, you can absolutely keep that at 100% if you'd like. Okay, and I'm just going to start painting. Again, you don't want to paint over the jawline here or the chin because it, it blurs um, lines that should be there. So you really want to be careful of uh, covering up or blurring any details, rather. We just want to smooth out our client's skin. And again, guys, I'm just zooming through this. <laughs> so I'm going to get some of Baby. Also, if you make a mistake, I'll show you in just a moment. Very, very simple um, to remedy that if you accidentally blur uh, and paint over some something or an area that you didn't mean to. So, uh, for example, I'm just going to paint over here on her hair. I went out of the lines. I did not want to do that. Now I'm going to press the backslash key. I probably missed a whole lot on the skin. Um, it's actually lighter. I did paint on her skin, but remember it's at a lower opacity, so it's not completely red. You can see in the layer mask how the, the white is um, a little bit lighter, kind of like a gray tone on the layer mask. So that's, that's how it's supposed to be. Um, I'm just going to bring black to the foreground color here because uh, I should have mentioned this earlier, but when working with layer masks, black conceals and white reveals. So I want to conceal the effect. I can see with this particular enhancement, again, it's sometimes hard to see exactly where you painted it. So by pressing the black, the backslash key, I can now see where I painted out of line. So black will conceal. I brought that to the foreground color. I'm gonna make my brush larger and just bring the opacity up to 100% and brush over it. Super simple remedy. Um, so this is the before and the after. I'm really loving the change. Now, this particular action, uh, the skin actions, are meant to subtly smooth and enhance your client's skin, okay? I, right out of the box, it does not give an airbrush effect, which is quite a bit more, you know, it smooths out your uh, client's skin quite a bit. But you can adjust the action to maybe give a little bit more smoothing if that's what you're looking for. So you can do that either by bringing up the overall opacity of the action. It plays at 70%, so you can bring that up to 100. Okay, before and after, so you're getting a lot of smoothing. Uh, you can open your action. Now, if you have elements, you'll want to scroll down to the very bottom of your collection uh, and run uh, open folder. Uh, it'll say open folder PSE for Photoshop Elements. Okay, so I'm opening, clicking on this little triangle next to your folder, and I've got some options. Okay, now at the bottom, smoother, that's already at 100%, so I can't make it any smoother with that particular layer. Uh, moving up to natural softener, that one's at 80%, so if I'd like to bring that up as well, I can bring that up to 100%. 
and make it even smoother. Now this goes the other way around. Um, say it's it's too too smooth and you're not liking how smooth it is. You can just bring the overall um, uh, action opacity down um, or you can open it and click on the layers and bring those down as well. Now there's also an extra layer uh, I really love. It adds a, a beautiful, healthy glow to skin tones. So look at the before. It might be hard to see in the video, but when you use this action on your own, you'll really see the difference when you're looking at your screen. This is the before. Uh, her skin is really a little desaturated. Uh, and when I click on the, the healthy glow, it's adding a really nice color tone. And you can bring that up as well. Oh, let's see. 80%, you can kind of see that a little bit more in the video, but it's bringing just a really subtle, beautiful color tone into uh, the skin tone. So I like that. Now you can turn that all the way down, click on the little eyeball to turn it off or bring the opacity up. So really it's super adjustable. Uh, the smooth as a baby's bottom action in the newborn collection is quite similar. It does have an extra layer. Uh, for toning that you can click on and adjust as well. Okay, so super simple to use and I hope this video really helps with learning how to customize and use the Osa oh Soft Skin Brush uh, and Skin Smoothing Brushes with Pretty Actions. Thanks guys!